Hominid Street in West Sacramento was about to get a new name, honoring its longtime mayor, Christopher Cabaldin. But some neighbors tell us they don't want the former mayor's name on that street and feel the council ignored their concerns. Digital producer Ayana Williams first caught wind of this story through good old-fashioned boots-on-the-ground journalism just listening in on a West Sacramento City Council meeting. And here's what we found. They're supposed to be representatives of the people, and we are the people. And when we say something, they should be listening to us. Alfred Melbourne is an organizer with West Sacramento's Broderick and Bright Neighborhood Association. Group members have been vocal in their opposition to renaming this street, currently the Tower Bridge Gateway, as Christopher L. Cabaldon Parkway. He was the city's first elected mayor who served for the better part of two decades before losing re-election to current mayor Martha Guerrero back in 2020. The street, you, you come into West Sacramento, it's the first thing you see. And I'm sorry, but... Christopher Cabaldon does not represent all of the community. You know, the north side, there was a lot of things that weren't done, and we don't feel that he deserves a street named after him. Maybe something else. Before the city council's vote, neighbors on Facebook came up with alternatives. I'd like to see the First Nations peoples honored, Melbourne wrote. Someone suggested naming the street after Fidel Martinez, a former mayor who died in 2020. This person saying he was such a compassionate individual and he loved his community. We should really name it after Margaret McDowell, another suggested. She's an early settler from the Gold Rush era. At the November 16th city council meeting, where council members were set to vote on the rename Naming, several community members showed up to voice their opposition. Why don't you just say, we're here to serve developers? Why don't you say that out loud? But they say they don't feel the council heard their voices, and the renaming passed. Ellos están tomando decisiones por ellos pro, uh, mismos para el bienestar más bien de ciertas personas en la comunidad, pero no están tomando en cuenta a la comunidad. Only council member Norma Alcala voted against the measure. I still believe that, you know, public input is really important on something so major because it is the large intersection there and regardless of who it was named after I think it's really important and I've heard from many members of the public especially from my side of the area and I would have liked to have had more input from more West Sacramentans. Now a big part of people's concerns was procedural for example West Sacramento City policy states a street can't be named after a living person, and former Mayor Cabaldon is still very much alive. However, the city manager explained that applies to new streets, not renaming existing ones. People are also worried council members had violated something called the Brown Act by not allowing public comment. We asked the city to respond, and Mayor Martha Guerrero said in part, the city attorney reviewed and confirmed that no violation of the Brown Act took place with either the request to place an item on a future agenda or with the street renaming action. Now, ABC 10 looked into this, and it appears that there was likely no violation. While there was no public comment at the October meeting, where the council simply voted to put the measure on November's agenda, there was public comment at the November meeting, and that's where the council actually voted on the renaming itself. Now, we should add, neighbors say this is not over. They want to organize a public forum to reconsider the matter and get more community input.